Good morning this Monday the 19th of June. I'm Grady Wall for Market Analyst with Bell Direct. On Wall Street, stocks closed lower on Friday but higher across the key indices for the week as investor sentiment was boosted by a rate pause out of the Fed, encouraging inflation data and ongoing strength in the technology sector, which saw the Nasdaq rise 3.3% for the week, marking an eight-week winning streak. The Dow Jones added nearly 1.3% for the week and the S&P 500 rose 2.6% on the week. Software giant Adobe rose 0.9% on Friday after beating expected results and issuing upbeat earnings guidance, while Virgin Galactic rose 13% after announcing on Thursday that it will launch its first commercial space tourism flight this month. Over in Europe, markets closed higher on Friday as investors digested the latest monetary policy decision out of the European Central Bank in the form of a 25 basis point rate hike for the month ahead. ECB President Christine Lagarde said they are not thinking about pausing just yet. Germany's DAX rose 0.41% on Friday, while the French CAC added 1.34%, and in the UK, the FTSE 100 rose 0.19%. The local market jumped over 1% on Friday, led by a 3 0.5% surge in the energy sector, led by Whitehaven Coal rallying over 8%, while Santos added 4.1% and Woodside Energy jumped 3.5%. AGL Energy was the winning stock of Friday's session locally after the electricity and gas provider released a guidance update on Friday, revealing it expects underlying profit for 23-24 to double with an expected increase between $580 million and $780 million, which is a significant jump from the guidance issued this year of between $255 million and $285 million. The strong profit guidance is driven by higher wholesale power prices and improved power plant operations. On the commodities front this morning, oil is trading 0.48% lower at $71 US dollars and 44 cents a barrel. Coal is down 5.52% at $128 US dollars and 45 cents a ton. Uranium is up 4.05% at 50 57 US dollars and 75 cents a pound. Gold is down just 0.03% at 1957 US dollars an ounce. And iron ore is up 0.43% at 117 US dollars a ton. There is no local economic data out today. However, investors will be awaiting the release of the RBA's latest meeting minutes out tomorrow, which will give an insight into just how hawkish or dovish the RBA are regarding interest rates over the coming months. One Aussie dollar is buying 69 US cents, 97.55 Japanese yen, 53.75 British pence and one New Zealand dollar and 10 cents. Ahead of the local trading session here in Australia, the SPY futures are anticipating the local index to open the first trading session of the week down 0.04%. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Bell Potter has downgraded the price target on Australian vintage from 65 cents per share to 50 cents per share and maintain a hold rating on the Australian Wine Company following the release of a trading update outlining revenue and EBITDA's guidance for FY23 that were broadly in line with expectations but significantly lower than FY22 as growing conditions worsened during key yield development months of earlier in the year. As a result of the conditions, AVG's company-owned and leased crush came in materially lower or below previous guidance, representing a 20% decline on yield versus 2022. The upside for AVG, though, is the company continues to win market share in the premium product segment. Trading Central has identified a bullish signal on Woodside Energy Group following the formation of a pattern over a period of 13 days, which is roughly the same amount of time the share price may rise from the close of $35.63 to the range of $38.10 to $38.70, according to Standard Principles of Technical Analysis. And that's all we have time for this morning. Have a wonderful Monday and happy investing.